You want to work in the jail speech right yeah. after Brother uh, Craig? How many come after the one? So, yeah, I bet it's that one. Yeah, yeah, after, after this. After the event, then. Okay, all right. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so, amen. The, the largemouth bass is what it's called, amen. Coming from James uh, 3, chapter 3, verse 10, it says, Out of the same mouth proceeded blessing and cursing my brethren. These things are not so to be. Glory to God. Uh, just a few details about the largemouth bass. Amen. It says that these native North American fish have been introduced all over the world. As with their close relatives, smallmouth bass, you will find them relating to the deepest water in their area. Largemouth bass get their names because their jaws extend past the rear of their eye. Big mouths. Glory to God. And that says uh, the largemouth bass also, now get this, the largemouth bass also use their hearing to locate prey. My Jesus. Amen. Another thing, amen, says uh, some of their favorites are cake, crayfish, bugs, all, all types, small land critters, frogs, and just about anything slightly smaller than themselves. The males make the nest in the sand with their tails. Glory to God. We know, amen, that as believers, glory to God, God inhabits the praises of his people. Amen. So if we use our mouths, amen, to bless God, amen, who has created us in his image, amen, we shouldn't leave the church house, amen, as soon as we get out of those doors, sometimes inside of the building, we use our mouths to tear people down, amen. James also talked about how the tongue, how it boasts is such a big fire, amen. It's a small member of the body, amen, but it can such a great fire, glory to God. Amen. Proverbs, amen, has a lot of good scriptures, amen, that talks about how we ought to be able to bridle our tongues, glory to God. I'm going to read a few. It'll calm down before I get all the way hoarse. I'm just going to read it, amen. Uh, Proverbs, glory to God. Proverbs 13, 2 through 3 and 5 says, A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of transgressors shall eat by it. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, but he that opened his mouth wide, glory to God, shall have destruction. A righteous man hate of lying, but a wicked man is loathsome and come to shame. Proverbs 14 and 25 says, A true witness delivereth souls, but a deceitful witness speak of lies. We got to use our mouths, amen, to draw people to Christ, amen. I think about the, the, the story in the Bible, amen, where the man who was deaf, amen, he went to Jesus, and Jesus healed that man, and he told that man, don't go and tell anybody, amen, but that man had been touched by Jesus. He was healed, and he couldn't keep his mouth closed, glory to God. He had to go out and tell somebody about a man that healed his body, and if we have truly been touched by Jesus, we ought to be out running our mouths, telling people about Jesus, and not about the latest gossip that we hear, glory to God.
Keisha Whiteville, amen, the other weekend, amen, broadcasting the gospel. One woman, amen, she got delivered from alcohol, glory to God, jumped the bottle and took off running, hallelujah. And then, amen, one of her friends came up to her. She, she was crying, the woman who I prayed for, amen. And she, she was looking at me like, did this boy do something to you? And she's like, no, no, it's all good. And this woman, amen, amen, this woman, she gave her life to the Lord, amen. And not only that, as I was telling her about the Holy Ghost, amen, as I was telling her, amen, I didn't pray for her to receive, I didn't lay hands on her, but this was a Acts chapter 10 scripture, amen. I was yet speaking the words, and the Holy Ghost fell upon her, and she began speaking in tongues yeah. right outside the storm of right here, glory to God. We've got to use our mouths, amen, yeah. to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.